dancing. Miss Stephanie, she just wants to be in the camera all the time. You should see her before we record. She talks all the time. Camera turns on, she turns it into quiet. <laughs> all right, so for our weekly Thursday class here at Nick's, we introduced something I've never taught before. Doing this almost three decades, so it's the very first time I've taught it. Very first time you guys get to see it, so I hope you like it. If you like it enough, please put a like to it, and please subscribe, give us a comment, also what you think of it. Write something nice, if you write something bad, she's quiet, she'll come after you. Seriously, not a good way. All right, how you do this is a right side pass with an underarm turn. That's just a basic move we introduced for the class. So you send it through to the other side. Okay. Very basic, that's the first part of the class. So I'm gonna sugar push here. We're not gonna really get in depth on this particular count, but just bring your free raise your left hand guys, which is her right, sending her through. Okay, but now we change it. We get into this advanced move. So I want to sugar push one, two, raising her right, pulling her through. One, two. Now I'm coming up beside her just like I normally would when you're doing a side pass. But we're gonna to have to connect with her underneath her right arm by three and. Okay, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, and going underneath her left arm. So if her left arm is low, you're gonna to have to compensate and get underneath it. So I'm gonna go one, two, one, two, and underneath, three, and, okay? So what I wanna do is instead of making me go down the track, I wanna take it off of the track. So we're gonna add four to it. So sugar push, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, and four. Because I'm, in addition to putting my arm underneath her shoulder blade, I'm pushing her to her right. So it's easier to see front to back when you add the fourth count. Okay, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, and four. So I'm actually starting to move momentum before four because it's a lot of energy that I want to make her use. So in this direction, just in the count, one, two, three, and four. She really has no chance to go with it. Okay, won't scare her, but it might expect you to side pass. Should do it. Sure push. We're gonna get to four. We're gonna go one, two, three, and four. Now, she may assume that she's gonna continue going to her right, which is my left. No. We're actually gonna go the other direction. I'm actually entitled this move this way, because we're not actually going that way. We're going this way. So the last part of the six count is a vine back to the other direction. So sure push, three and four, five and six. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I vine back the other direction. And that takes her back to the track, essentially. So let's go this way, front to back. So you take it back off. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Going this way. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. So the right arm of hers takes her this way, but you gotta pull and push her back the other direction. Take some time, the nuances, you gotta figure each other out. It's a really cool move. So after the sugar push, we add the six counts. So one, two, three, four, Five and six, and then you can do a top turn. Okay. You can do a couple different variations to that. So one, two, three, four, five and six. You can pull around. One, two, three, four, five and six. Really, essentially, whatever you want to do. But the vine is the key to this. So one, two, three, and four, five and six. Okay. And once you do that, you can pretty much do whatever you wish as far as your creativity. Think about here. She doesn't talk to the cameras off, and she can't get her to stop talking. So, we hope you like it, guys. It's something we've never taught before. She's not gonna tell you the truth. Have a great week. We love your support, and as always, keep dancing.